Oh, what are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Moggy Labyrinth of Magic chapter 342. And last chapter, we got we got Sinbad versus Aladdin. And boy, did Aladdin just shut Sinbad down? Oh my god, it was amazing. He proved that Sinbad was being a, was contradicting himself. It was freaking amazing. Anyways, I can't wait to see what happens next. I really, really hope that um, Judar shows up. If you've read some bad no boking, you understand why. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens. So we're inside the dungeon, uh, Zephyr. Uh, what lies inside um, Sinbad's recollections? Is it hope or despair? Aladdin, I have a feeling I can speak with you of such things. Why are you doing this, uncle? If you just wanted to, um, uh, to talk, we could have been, done it before in the world. I guess you're right. Um, you're having a contest of strength with us, aren't you? In order to prove that you are the world's most suitable candidate to be God. So this chapter is called The Innovator. Sinbad's definitely one of those. Uh, you're a little wrong there, Aladdin. It's not like I wanted to become the, uh, the most important being in the world. Eh? Sinbad, you are full of shit! You are full of shit! Even if there are people more suitable than me to lead the world, things don't change. Maybe I hope uh, I hope there was uh, someone better than me, and that's why I called the four of you to the sacred palace, but... You're still far from making me hand over my power. Uncle Sinbad, I will ask you... Ooh, is there anything saying something here? What? She She's asking! An irrational um, uh, world... Sorry, an irrational world, should humans live according to their own will, or should they be guided by others? Damn it, Serenity! <laughs> oh, that's Sinbad's woman for you! For the re very reason that we live in an irrational world, uh, we should move forward little by little, whilst competing against each other and living according to our own wills. You tell him, Aladdin! You tell him! That's my answer. Dude, Aladdin's answer is legit! It is! I see, Aladdin. Even if the conflicts happening around the world never end, we must continue living. I too understand that the moment I set foot in the sacred palace. Yet, why do you want to change the world? Because that's what I've always wanted. Well, that is very true. He's wanted that from the very beginning of Magi Simbad Nabokin. Yeah, that is very true. <laughs> It's exactly as you say, Aladdin. No matter where you go, there's nothing so difficult that it cannot be changed in some way. But I also understood that it's um, not as if anyone really wants the world to change. Even those who were my comrades in the past don't want to be, me to be an innovator anymore. Your comrades? What do you mean? I'm talking about the eight generals. What? Oh my god. I wonder if we're going to see this. Um... Near the end of Magi Simbad Nobokin. I honestly do. The past, we were angry at this irrational world and wanted to change it. We built a country, formed alliances, and swore that we would stop conflicts. We were real innovators. And then shape, we uh, shaped this world according to our ideals. But as soon as we accomplished all that, something unexpected happened. All my comrades stopped being innovators. What do you mean? They grew to love the things they had built too much. Well... What do you kind of expect? They worked really hard to build it. Why not love it? Jafar was so desperate to protect the International Alliance and the Seven Seas Alliance that he burst into my room wearing an expression I'd never seen before telling me that I was supposed to stop the Ku Empire from leaving. If Reem and Ku become allies, all the things you've built until now by putting your life on the line will be for naught. Jafar is right. Like... Sinbad, you're fucking stupid. Um, Shark Khan and the others missed the old Sindria kingdom. I would have expected such a thing because our goal was to make that island a paradise for all of us. I really loved the Sindria kingdom when my king still ruled it. Yes. Things like nostalgia and leaving everything unchanged are difficult for me. Yes, and I think you're making it, you're um, making fun of nostalgia tards right now, Moggy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to continue moving towards better things. I want to continue moving forward. Well, in a capitalist nation, you get, you provide the um 
you provide ways of innovation to grow. Like, if you don't have freedom of speech or expression, how do you expect innovation to fucking happen, you dumbass? Ugh. Des destiny? Exactly. Isn't that what you call destiny, Aladdin? Oh, no. <gasps> yes! Junior! There's my baby! There's my baby! Oh my god, I love Junar. He's like my favorite character. I love fucking Junar. Oh my god. The sun is going down, huh? Is that- Oh my god. There's a creepy- There's- There's, um... There's Arba, and there- There's Alibaba. Alright, let's see what happens next. Come on, wait! Um, hurry up, but- I don't think it's wrong to want to protect what you've created, like wanting to protect your family. That's right. Those uh, feelings that will um, that tell you to protect your family or country aren't bad. They're normal. They are feel natural feelings that all human beings possess. And the ironic thing is that when those natural feelings clash against each other, war is born and it cannot be stopped. Oh, dear's widow Aladdin. Even though everyone begins by thinking of ways to make a the world a better place, why can't they succeed? And Aladdin's seeing all their journey, he, he's looking at all his journeys. I will protect them. I will protect them. I will protect them, oh my god. I will protect them, I will protect them. I will protect them, I will protect them. Oh my god, he's really thinking about it right now. Don't you agree, Aladdin? We humans are made in this way. From a father who would wield a sword to protect a single member of his family, to a mother who would raise an army to protect her great empire. Zimbad, I will give you points for this one. This is a good argument. He, he's getting points right now. And when uh, the time comes to protect what they built, they wield their weapon, or sorry, they picture a dream, realize it. And when the time comes to protect what they built, they wield their weapons. Then they do whatever it takes. Yeah, and? It's such a trivial thing. The war that I hate um, so much has humankind's natural feelings as its, uh, um, as its driving force. It's not the world that creates war, but human. Humans do. That is very true. Humans are create war. That is very true. Simbad, you get points for that one there. Um, it's so sad. I finally understand. You feel sad, right, Uncle? As long as you uh, live as a human being, war and other ra irrational things won't disappear. No matter how many times you change the system that rules this world. Aladdin got the... Aladdin's got you there, Sinbad. Aladdin, the points for Aladdin right there. That's why you rewrote humanity's hearts by manipulating the Rook, isn't it? Aladdin, you're against my using the power of God, right? Yes, I can't agree with what you're going to do. I already told you this. However, did you think about who uh, placed me on the throne of God? Who made you into a God? David, Arba, even Ugo thought that Simbad had died, but I was brought back to life. What do you think this means? Isn't this Solomon's will itself? What? No! No! No, Simbad, no, this is not Solomon's will. No way! I lied. Don't fall for this shit! Don't fall for this shit! This is not Solomon's will! If it was Solomon's will, Ugo would have let you live, you dumb fuck! That is the truth! If this was- Because Ugo followed Solomon's will to a T. But, motherfucker, man! God, the stupidity is real right now. You- No, you are not- This is not Solomon's will. This just- No! Anyway, let me know what you nerdkins think of this chapter. I hope Junar comes in here. I hope he does. And tell Sinbad to shut his fucking mouth. I really want him to come in here. I really do. I, and I know I get a phrasing for that. I really want him to come here because we're fighting Zephyr. And this is- And Junar was a kid when he was manipulating shit. And really fucked- Him and, uh, um, Fallon were manipulating shit. Um, Fallon was the one who got this idea in your head, Sinbad. You motherfucker. Don't know what I'm talking about? Go read Boggy Stimpad no Boken. It makes sense. It, it really does. Anyway, let me know what you nerdigans saw of this chapter. And, um, 
wh and what do you think is going to happen next? Do you think we're going to get Judar on the scene and tell Sinbad to shut the fuck up and that he's full of shit? Or maybe, hell, even an apology for being the one responsible to kill Saradine? Because in all reality, he is. Because he fucked her up. He corrupted her to make her a point. And um, a dark point, which we are going to see in Sibat Novokin in upcoming chapters. I'm curious what Nerdigan's thought about, uh, think about that as well. Anyway, let me know uh, your thoughts on the chapter. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan's Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigan's Inc. expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to the um, Nerdigan's Inc. PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdigan's Inc. Amazon wishlist. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter, follow my Twitch channel, and friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!